It is a special pleasure to celebrate the World Environment Day 2018 here in Nigeria. Even as we join the rest of the world on this special day, in one of its most inspired moments, the United Nations decided to set aside June 5th annually for reflection on the environmental state of the earth. This place where we live, where our forebears have lived, and where we intend that our descendants will live. The last few decades have shown that on account of damage to the environment, there are no guarantees that we can hand over a livable place to generations after us. That reality unfolds daily as we observe the consequences of climate change and the environmental abuses that cause it. This year, we're invited to reflect on what to do with plastic pollution, an environmental epidemic created daily, relentlessly, by consumption habits that favor the one-off use of plastics, plastic bags, plastic bottles, disposable cups, sweet wrappers, and toys, most of which we're already told has or will take between 500 to 1,000 years to degrade. Current researches also show that plastics that have not been burnt or recycled could be in excess of 4.5 billion tons. Much of that has ended up in the oceans, becoming almost impossible to retrieve. Worse still, salt and sunlight cause plastics to break into smaller pieces, microplastics, which end up being eaten by fish and other, um, um, and, and other marine uh, creatures. And this may even find their way into our meals. The cost to fisheries, to tourism, and biodiversity is significant. On our part, as the federal government of Nigeria, we've tried to remain ahead of the curve in planning, in policy, and reform. The Ministry of Environment, in collaboration with critical stakeholders, have developed a national strategy for the phasing out of non-biodegradable plastics. The Ministry is also developing a national plastic waste recycling program involving the establishment of plastic waste recycling plants across the country in partnership with state governments. A total of eight plants have already been completed and handed over to the states, while 18 others are at various stages of completion. In addition, the federal government is also collaborating with state governments to establish plastic waste recycling plants under the community-based waste management program in the ministry. Two plants have been completed in Ilorin, Kwara State, one in Lokoja, Kogi State, while work is going on on the one in Karo local government area of Nasarawa State. In addition, there are two privately run programs. There are Bola Jari, Bola Jari, which uh, roughly means waste to wealth in Gombe State, and the Leda Jari, which roughly means converting nylon bags to wealth in Kano State. These uh, initiatives, of course, are also encouraged and supported by government. But there are, of course, questions about the limited options for cheap packaging of food and drinks, especially where consumers are relatively poor. Micro-marketing methods of fast-moving consumer goods, such as drinking water in sachets, otherwise known as pure water, and the retailing of detergents, sugar, and even milk in sachets have proved to be an effective means of selling these food and beverages in affordable portions to millions of consumers. So sale of items in cellophane bags may be easier to deal with. You know, so Rwanda, Kenya, Bangladesh, amongst others, have banned the use of cellophane bags with considerable success. It's my view that for controlling the proliferation of plastic sachets, we must go back to the major producers of fast-moving goods to put in place recycling programs that could effectively ensure that while we seek environmentally friendly options for packaging, we are keeping the environment as free of plastics as possible. Coca-Cola has committed to collecting and recycling the equivalent of all drink containers it ships every year. In, and this includes about 110 billion plastic bottles. Consumer goods giants such as Unilever and Procter & Gamble have also begun to use more recycled plastics. 
We expect that these consumer giants will make and fulfill these same pledges here in Nigeria and also partner with governments, including the state and local governments, to ensure that we maintain the critical balance between economic growth and a safe and livable environment. Nigeria is in a good place to lead Africa, and indeed the world, in beating plastic pollution. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. There are a good number of effective initiatives already that we are considering as we develop policies. As our environmental expert, Mrs. Olakiton Olagui said, Aside from the responsibilities of government, there are also corporate and individual responsibilities. We can beat the plastics pollution. We, we can beat plastics pollution. We can beat this epidemic. But we certainly will achieve our objectives much faster if we all work together. Thank you very much for listening.